everybody, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a video that has been requested so, so many times and it is how I consume alcohol even though I have had the gastric sleeve surgery or like what my tolerance is and all that stuff. So a couple things I need to get out there before I even start this video. First thing is if you're under the age that is it legal, it's legal for you to drink at. So if you're under the legal drinking age, please don't watch this video, disregard it. It's not really anything that you should even be knowing about. Second of all, everybody's different. I always say this in all my videos, just because I can have these this many shots or whatever, these many cocktails doesn't mean that you can. So please consult your doctor, do your research before you start consuming alcohol after surgery. Third of all, we're all adults here, so I'm gonna stop giving so many disclaimers and we're gonna get right into this. Also, I have a story time, so it's gonna be kind of like a fun video. Okay, so for those of you uh, that are new to my channel or you guys just stumbled upon this video, I had gastric sleep three years ago. So I don't, okay, so once I had gastric sleep, I didn't not drink because I was scared. I just didn't drink because I didn't want the extra calories of like, alcohol alcohol has a lot of calories now i i don't know about anybody else but in my culture i'm armenian and um we've been drinking since like i've been drinking since i was like 15 16 years old i know that's against the law in america i'm not a condoning underage drinking but that's just how it's always been in my house like it's never been like oh my god i'm getting trashed or anything but it's never been a problem for me to drink like my parents have always been okay with it so I don't know if it's because I've been drinking for such a long time that I've built such a high tolerance to it or it's because I was heavier. So like, I don't know. Um, but basically, after I had my gastric sleeve, I didn't drink for about... The first time I had a drink after gastric sleeve was whenever I went to Mexico, which was like two months after. And I literally had like one cocktail. I wasn't feeling it. I didn't feel good after. So I was like, I'm not going to drink anymore. So the first time I actually really drank after having gastric sleeve was when I went to Armenia during the summer two years ago. So not this trip, the trip I went on before. Uh, and in our culture, like it's very, basically when we sit down to eat, we just have like shots of vodka or like whatever it is, tequila, whatever. Uh, we just do shots as we're eating. So it's never been a problem for me. But when I went to Armenia and I tried doing that, I was like, whoa, your girl is lightheaded AF. Like, I literally had two shots and I was like, oh my god, I'm dying. So, I kind of like scaled back a little bit. And also, another thing that was kind of preventing me from really testing my limits was the fact that right after my trip to Armenia, I had plastic surgery. My doctor recommended I don't drink, blah, 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 blah. So, there's that. So the first time I really realized that I was a lightweight was when I went to college. And obviously, college is very uh, big-time alcohol culture out there. Like, everyone's drinking, playing drinking games, doing this, doing that. So I remember, like, some of the first nights I went out in college, like, I would have two cocktails, like... Like, not even cocktails, like a cranberry vodka or a vodka soda or something like that. I would just be like whoa where am i and what is going on like big time so after that like after that first week of college when i noticed like okay i'm a little bit of a lightweight i kind of learned my limits and learned how like i need to just be a little bit careful about how much alcohol i'm consuming so a little just like a little bit of research that i've done as to why you become a lightweight or whatever it is so not everybody becomes a lightweight after gastric sleeve and it's not really i've it could either go one of two ways for me i feel like it's either the fact that i've lost a lot of weight so i'm skinnier now and i have a lot less body mass or whatever it is to burn off the alcohol or something like that i don't know or it's the fact that my stomach is so tiny that the alcohol just really affects it big time so like um one thing that is something that I've noticed is if I get drunk really fast, I also sober up very fast. Like I could be super duper hammered one second and then literally 10 minutes later, I'm like, all right, I'm ready for another drink. So I feel like that has to do with your metabolism. It has to do with the size of the stomach, like your the how small they cut your stomach or whatever it may be. But this is once again, personal experience. So 
Um, a lot of the questions that you guys ask me is like, how has your experience been drinking after having gastric sleeve? I don't know if I want to get it because I love alcohol, all this stuff. So my experience has been pretty okay. I've had a few stories. I'm going to get into my story time in a little bit, but I've had a pretty okay experience. I haven't really been like to the point of, oh my God, I feel like I'm going to die. I definitely do feel like you have to be very careful, especially the fact that as people, as a uh, gastric sleeve patients or whatever we are we have uh, less food in our stomach so less food to absorb the alcohol whether or not you've had gastric sleeve or you haven't like it doesn't really matter i feel like as a person you're just supposed to know your limits and sometimes you test your limits and see like okay maybe i can handle this much and maybe i can't there has been times that my sleeve and alcohol have gotten the best of me and i'm gonna get into my story time right now by the way, you guys, I have a lot of story times from college. If you guys ever want to hear them, just let me know and I'll do like uh, story times while I'm getting ready or whatever it is. So this happened very recently. So within these past two years of college, I haven't really had a lot of like, holy crap, like I can't, like I'm very, very drunk. Uh, I recently started drinking beer. So when you have the sleeve, your doctor recommends not to drink beer or any carbonated beverage because it stretches out your stomach. But my issue is I love beer so, so much. Like I always want to have a beer. So recently I started drinking beer and if you've ever gotten drunk before, like off beer, you kind of know what I'm talking about. Beer gives you like this different type of drunk, like to the point where it's like, I don't feel that drunk, but I am drunk, so you continue to drink. So we were pre-gaming at my house, and um, we just, like, I just had, like, literally, like, six beers. So that's, like, a lot for me, personally, because I don't have, like, a regular size stomach. So I had six Coronas, and I kind of, like, drank it in, like, a very short amount of time and I didn't realize I was drinking so much of it because I just love the taste of beer So this particular night was a Thursday night and um, On Thursday nights me and Zach who's my boyfriend We don't really when like Thursdays were my favorite night to go out So like I would like to go with my friends like so we didn't go out together. So it was me um, my friend Brianna my roommate Brianna and then it was my other roommate uh, who literally moved in this semester her name is also brianna so it's the three of us we end up uh going to our brianna's boyfriend's house who, which is also the frat house to pregame some more before we go out to the bar so at this point it's like 9 30 and i make myself a water bottle of vodka and lemonade and i put a lot of vodka in there i'm talking like four or five shots of vodka so i'm six beers deep i'm feeling kind of nice but i also feel like I feel like I should drink more so we get to this the frat house and like we're just drinking playing games doing this doing that and um I'm also playing beer pong and I'm finishing my water bottle so I am trash to the point of like oh my god and I don't notice this like I see like Brie looking at me like girl and I'm like no I'm fine I'm fine I'm fine so I go to the restroom because I needed to pee and I'm sitting down peeing and I'm just look. I'm like literally like, holy crap. I don't know where I am. What is going on? And I'm a very like controlling person. Like I like to have control of my body, which is why I don't do drugs and like all that stuff. Just because I'm very like, I need to be in control at all times. Like I can't have any, like I need to know what I'm doing. I can't have anyone looking at me in a weird way, whatever. So when I lose control of myself, that's when I start panicking and getting anxious. So I have lost control, buddy. Let me tell you, I don't know where I am. I don't know what's happening. So I'm washing my hands. I'm looking at myself in the mirror. I'm like, all right, you got to go home. So I come out of the freaking bathroom and uh, Brianna and her boyfriend, Travis, are literally looking at me like, are you okay? I'm like, yeah, I'm fine. They're like, uh, no, you're not. Like, do you need water? Like, do you need something? And I'm like, okay, your girl got to go home. She is not making it out tonight. So I like quickly go on my phone because I'm an independent woman and I order, I get myself an Uber and I'm like, all right guys, I'm leaving. They're like, wait, what? Like, wait, who's taking you home? I'm like, I got an Uber. So at this point, I know I'm really drunk, but I'm not like sure of it. Like I know I'm drunk, but I don't really understand the severity of the situation. 
So I sit in this Uber and I shit you not, I do not remember a thing from that Uber. And uh, the way the Maris dorms are set up, like it's very, where I lived, it was like townhouses and it was weird. Like the address was always wrong on the Uber. So like anytime you put the address in into your Uber, like it doesn't take you to where you need to be. So this man is asking me questions. I can't remember one thing he asked me. I don't know how the hell he got me home. So I like literally spill out of this Uber. It's around like, at this point it was like 11 o'clock and Zach has work at 4 a.m. Uh, the next day. So I text, I call Zach and he's not picking up. And I keep calling him, I keep calling him, he picks up. I'm like, babe, I am so drunk. I'm crying. I don't know what's going on. He's like, okay, just chill out. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. So I go upstairs. I don't know how the hell I get out of my clothes and into my pajamas. Uh... Zach gets pulled over twice. I think it was twice or three times because his headlights out and he's like, okay I'm here. You need to come downstairs. I'm like, I can't make it downstairs. I don't I, I physically cannot make it downstairs I don't know how I literally sat down on the stairs and like scooted my way to the to the um, ground floor to open the door and Zach walks in and is like, bro, what is wrong with you? Like, it was just, I was a mess. He literally had to, like, carry me up the stairs. And you know my fat ass. Like, poor guy. Zach is like a little stick. He's, like, carrying me up the stairs. And this has never happened to me, which was like, oh, my God. Like, holy crap. Now I realize, like, I am a lightweight. Like, I am actually a lightweight. Like, all these years of practicing... All these years of like saying, yeah, I can handle my alcohol, I can handle my alcohol, all goes down the drain because of my gastric sleeve. I literally stayed up all night, like not even stayed up, but I was just like, I kept like waking up all night, feeling like I was going to throw up, like it was just horrible. The next day, let me tell you, the hangover was real. And it's funny because, uh, so Brie, who is my really good friend, we always go out together, but the other Brianna, that was like her first time going out with me, and I'm like please don't let this be like a thing that you remember me by. Like, I'm not usually like this. I usually can handle my alcohol, but it was just like horrible. And I think that after that day, I kind of really, I'm like, okay, you cannot do this. Like, this is way too much. Like drinking to this point is like, that was just like one of the most horrible experiences I've ever had. And I don't, like, like I said, so I have definitely become, like, the moral of the story is I have definitely become a lightweight because I had gastric sleeve, but that hasn't prevented me or, like, it hasn't stopped me from being able to drink. Uh, if you have any type of stomach problems, if you have ulcers because of anything, like, I feel like that's something that you really need to talk to your doctor about. And I know we always say, talk to your doctor before you change your diet. Like, I know realistically we don't do that, but... When it comes to alcohol, I feel like it is very important for you to like talk to your doctor about it, kind of be open, be honest, be like, hey, listen, like alcohol is a big part of my life. I like to go out. I like to like have a glass of wine at night. What do you recommend? Is it okay? The condition of my stomach, whatever. Um, I will say though, if you are trying to lose weight, like if you're in the beginning stages of your gastric sleeve, I would probably stay away from alcohol just because it is extra calories and you're gonna have the rest of your life to drink you could like leave the alcohol alone for like a couple months I know it's kind of hard, but you can do it. Trust me. I did it. I have so many more like drunk stupid story times like it's ridiculous But I think that was the one time where I felt like okay I really need to like understand that I'm not what I used to be and I need to like be a little bit more careful because I never want to put myself in like such a dangerous situation. Thank God like I, I'm I, I always have like my group of friends that watch out for me and all that stuff but just as a um just as a warning like i would test out how much you can drink in a safe place with people that you trust and people that you know rather than going out to like a random club and like being with kind of sketchy people and getting to that point where you're like okay i feel like i'm not in control 
um, just because God forbid you don't want anything bad to happen you know we live in like a crazy world now so you just don't want there to be you don't want to put yourself in a dangerous situation so I think that my biggest like advice would be first of all talk to your doctor also second of all um, test out your limits like in a safe environment with friends family or whoever you feel safe by Okay guys, so that is it for this video. I know this is really rambly and very chatty, but I don't know. I kind of just like sitting down and talking about like stories and putting some advice in there and putting some facts in there. I feel like it just like, it makes the video a little less serious, you know? So yeah, if you guys want me to do more college story time, just let me know. And also any VSG uh, videos that you guys want me to do, as always, leave them down below. Please like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe down below if you haven't already. Please, it really helps me out. And yeah, thank you guys so, so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!